Yeah, I mean, it starts with our offensive coordinator, Coach Cramsey, and whatever calls he's really making is what we'll try and execute, and we're having success in the run game. So we decided to kind of stick to that. I was telling someone earlier, 211 yards rushing. There hasn't been many times in my career at Memphis we've rushed for 200 yards. So it's a, it's a really good feeling to set the tone early for our offensive line. I think it's just a confidence builder for them to put on this performance today. I think they did a great job, uh, communicated well, and I'm just happy we got the win. Rachel. Yeah, I was really impressed. Mario and uh, Greg, our two-headed monster uh, backfield, they played really well. They ran hard. They picked up protections. I thought our running back room did a great job stepping up uh, in, in spite of Sutton being out this week. So, um, you know, they're expected to do great things, and they've been preparing to do great things in the whole offseason during the summer. So, you know, one, next man up mentality, that's, that's all you can really do. So. Uh, proud of them and need to continue stacking good days, stacking good weeks, and continue putting the product out there. Seth, uh, how would you grade your performance today? Obviously, the run game was playing really well, but just as a quarterback, how do you think you can perform there? Uh, probably like seven and a half out of ten. Uh, missed a couple balls. I missed the out route to Kobe Drake. Um, I don't remember. It was before I, I kind of got banged. I kind of got hit once, and then I missed a go ball to rock that kind of the wind kind of took it on both of those. So, I mean, there's no excuses to be made. I put the ball in harm's way once when it, whenever we had a dig over the middle and the, the backer was dropping, he kind of tipped it. I should have just continued through my progression. So, I mean, there's always things to clean up. Um, but leaning on the run game, that's, that's huge. That just shows that our offense is versatile. We can run the ball. We can throw the ball. We'll protect. And we have, the, we have studs at receiver and at tight end. So, I mean, we're, we're, we're going to be good. Uh, just got to continue putting in the work every single day um, and executing a little bit better. Go Frank and call seven seven the second straight game to the past for at least 19 minutes. How are you liking the way that you guys are executing the game and the Yeah, I mean, uh, I think the product kind of speaks for itself. I'm, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty happy, even if I only – I didn't play my best game. If we score 38, 40 points, um, I'm going to be happy. And if we win the game, I'm going to be happy. Uh, like in the moment, I was texting some other quarterback who was asking for some advice last night. And I said, in the game, you have to let things go and you have to play free and play a little loose and, and be excited to play. But after the game, that's when you're hard on yourself and you watch the film, you correct what you messed up on and, and you get better from that. So that's kind of how I, how I go about it every single week. There's definitely things we can improve on. But our defense, I mean, we can just talk about our defense. I mean, they played; a, they they were dominant today. Uh, so really happy about what they did, and and just shout out to those guys, Coach Hankins. Um, just got to continue stacking weeks, and we'll look we'll look up and be happy. But I forgot the question, to be honest. But I'm just kind of going off on a tangent. But just gotta be a little bit better on offense. Starts with me. Uh, I mean, it, it's possible. Uh, I don't really know. I mean, it, it could be. The wind was definitely going like that direction. But I mean, that's just something you gotta be able to play through. There's no, there's no excuses to be had. Um, so I mean, that's so, uh, little things with the receivers and their angles. Little things with me and better ball placement, and then we'll hit those. And, and we got a lot of pass interferences today too, because I don't have the little sheet right here, but it's all good. Uh, I mean, I, I think I was I missed like 11 throws, 11 incompletions or something like that. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, 12 incompletions, but I don't know if those account for the PIs, and I thought we got like four PIs, but still could have placed those a little bit better, um, especially the one in the end zone to rock on the slant. So um, uh, just got to be a little bit more detail-oriented and, and just a little, a little tougher too, so. We'll be all right, though. John, so back to what you were just talking about, Brock. How did you keep the guys, kind of keep their head in the game? Because it was, Troy was being very physical, especially with Brock and through a lot of those PIs. And they were a little chippy with you, too. How do you help your guys kind of keep their head in the game? 
Yeah, I mean, we're an experienced group. So we, I think their game plan was trying to hit me early a little bit. Um, I missed the first RPO to Rock, and I missed the second play of the game to Lanfear, four verticals. Um, and then, you know, I responded third down, and we got the first down. So you just got to kind of put the plays that you mess up in the, in the back of your mind and continue on to, to the next play. That's kind of what happened the first drive. I wasn't playing very well, but on third downs, we would, we would connect and, and be able to sustain the drive. So, like I said, we're an old group. We should know better to, than to have stupid mistakes and, and bad penalties. Um, just whenever the defense trying to get chippy, trying to lure you into a penalty, just walk away and understand that we have a bigger goal than that. Final two here, Jonah and Terry. Seth, you mentioned the defense earlier. Just kind of going against them in practice, just, does it feel different this year than last year in terms of what they're doing and obviously seeing it on the field? Yeah, I mean, it's a different scheme, uh, different players. We had a nice portal hall. So it's all kind of, it's all different every single year. And different, different coordinator, obviously, as well. Um, and it's only been two games, so it's kind of it's hard to tell. We just got to continue stacking days and stacking weeks and put the product out there uh, on Saturdays. But thus far, throughout the first two games of the season, I mean, they're the best. They're one of the best units on our team on the field. So they're doing a great job. I think our defensive line is doing a great job, uh, letting our backers play free. Elijah Herring, eight tackles. Um, I mean, they're playing good defense. So I'm really proud of them, and that's. That's really important to our team's success. On the offensive side of the ball, how well has offense played and how close have you given to your peak performance? Uh, I think we're not even close to our peak performance. Um, there's definitely a I – don't, I don't know how many drives we had and how many times we scored out of those drives, but uh, just there's, there's more points that we left on the table uh, once again that we need to finish on those drives. But I thought our guys, our guys did a great job just – really like had locked in eyes in the huddle just on drives we're like we need to score right here we need to we need to put our foot on the throat this is a, an important drive in the game i thought our offensive line and, and everyone was really locked in in those moments so that's a really good thing to to feel and as a quarterback have your guys behind you and ready to go execute thank you sir appreciate it thank you guys